to begin with and uh, some cool temperatures out there too. As you overlook Burbank right now, you can see some of that's in place and temperature 52 in Big Bear. It was freezing at this time yesterday. A 60 in Beaumont. We have some 50s, upper 50s though in the Inland Empire. The afternoons have been uh, not too bad. It's warm, but not too warm. And then we are going to really start to see those temperatures drop off as we head into really over the next week. So it's still going to be pretty warm for the valleys. We're still even going to see a couple low 90s out there for today hey, Scott, into tomorrow. Sure to More 80s like, as we subscribe. get into the weekend and then and 70s by next week below. and potentially even some low 70s for some spots. So we have much more fall like weather on the way. Temperatures even below average for next week too. So it's all going to be a nice little change. We're going to talk more about it in just a bit, Mark. I'll send it back to you for now. Okay, Brianna, thank you. We of course are as just driving, uh, trying to drive away from it as fast as possible. We've seen the images of cranes that have fallen into buildings and we heard from officials saying that it approached so quickly they were not able to get the cranes and move them out so they kind of just had to lower them as best they could and those still caused some damage as well so yeah we're waking up and seeing kind of what's happened in those overnight hours made landfall a couple hours earlier than initially expected uh, and now it's pretty much almost out of here it's across the waters and back to home we are looking at kind of the same pattern that we've been dealing with some fog some cloudy starts that's feeling a little fall like and then as we get into the afternoons we're still dealing with temperatures that are warm then we get into next week and we're down to just mild days so if you like the warm weather enjoy it for the next few we do have some pretty big changes by next week it's cloudy and cool in Irvine it's about 60 degrees and then we have that cloud cover and that layer right over Long Beach as well. Right at about 62. All of our temperatures are pretty cool. We're at 57 in Ontario, 55 in Ojai. Most areas slightly warmer compared to this time yesterday. 52 down to Temecula, and it's about 63 over into Oxnard. 61 in Moose, and it's helping to push some of these clouds right over our region here. So we might see some mid-high-level clouds outside today. The better chance now is actually going to be tomorrow, and then probably a couple times really over the next week because we're going to be dealing with this troughing pattern right off the coast that's going to allow some cloud coverage to push in here. Now, in terms of rainfall, we're not expecting anything. We might get some drizzle out of the marine layer as we head into next week, especially. But Northern California might get a little bit, especially as we head into later next week. So that's exciting. But as we head into uh, your Thursday into Friday, you can see some of that cloud coverage ahead of that trough and that low making its way through Southern California. So partly cloudy to partly sunny tomorrow. Temperatures will still be warm. And then this low pressure that's allowing some of that is going to move right over Northern California into Nevada. Over the weekend, it begins to drop south through Nevada. And then next week, we just have another trough that's going to kind of just hang off the coast here and another low that's going to make its way and uh, bring some rain to Northern California. So we'll see how this plays out as we get a little closer, but it does look like the northern part of the state might get a little bit of rainfall as we head into midweek next week. It's still pretty far out, so we'll see what happens. But at least know that this trough and this pattern is going to help us keep those temperatures on the cooler side. So that's why the seven days looking like shouldn't really need it should be pretty nice. Next week we're going to get down to some lower 70s and then a 10% shot of some drizzle too. afternoons where you can keep the jackets on hand throughout the day. Highs in the mid 60s, overnight lows in the 30s, or 80s by next week. Palm Springs getting down to some 90s. Finally, we've had a long stretch of some triple digit heat there, Mark. Absolutely. Okay, look